Hi guys, Drew Brashler. I have been wanting to make this video for a long time. Uh, this is gonna be a video on the X32 cues, scenes, and snippets. Now I know there's a lot of questions on, you know, what's a scene, what's a snippet, and how in the world is this gonna actually affect me in my real world use with my X32. So the scenes is kind of the main save function of the X32. So I'm, I'm sure that a lot of you guys have used this before. Basically a scene takes literally every single parameter of the X32 and saves it in a file. That's gonna be your routing, your EQ, your head amp gains, your fader positions, your effects racks, your inserts, literally every single thing. And it saves it into a file and that file is called .scn and it actually has over 2,000 lines of code in this file. And you can actually go and view this by taking it into a computer like a PC or Mac and viewing it with a uh, text edit program like TextMate or Text Edit or Notepad on the PC. You know, all those different types of programs can actually view what is in this scene file. It's pretty kind of cool. But basically, when you load a scene file on the X32, it goes and updates every single parameter one after another very quickly. It does take a smidge of time, but it, it updates it very fast over the entire board. And so when you're saving a scene, it literally saves everything on the entire board. So I typically use scenes for saving for my different events that are happening throughout the week at my church. So I have a contemporary service, I have a traditional service, both of those happen on Sunday mornings. Uh, you know, we have a live at five service that sometimes goes on in the afternoon in this room. Uh, you know, there, there's a high school service that happens during the week, and then every now and then we have a wedding or some type of event that's happening. So all of those different things have different setups for them, and so that's where I'm using my scenes to record all of those different parameters. And so then on a Thursday, when we actually come in for practice, I will take my board at the very end of the, of the practice and save that in a different scene on a different, uh, on a different line on the scenes file. And that way Sunday morning comes, I can actually just load that up and I have all of my settings that I had from the practice before. Now there's also snippets. Now snippets are very similar to scenes. Now this is a lot of S's, I'm sorry guys, but snippets, basically allow you to save a set amount of parameters for specific channels. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what that actually looks like. So if we hit the view button over here in the scenes portion, it'll pull up one of three things. So we have our home, we have our scenes, and we have our snippets. And so when we want to press view, we can actually specify which tab it goes to. So home is where the cues live. Now cues allow you to load scenes or load snippets, but we can have 500 cues in this screen. Now this is gonna be really practical for some sort of theater production or a play or something like that where you're loading a scene for one act and then muting a couple microphones and then different people come out and then you mute a couple different microphones. That's where this is going to be really, really useful for that because you have 500 different cues that you can save and load. Now scenes, we can have 100 different scenes saved and snippets we can have also a hundred different snippets saved and basically the cues allow you to load a scene a snippet or both at the same time kind of which i'll explain later so scenes is where i spend the most of my time if you want to hit the view button and have snippets or have scenes pop up we can actually specify that in our setup and our config tab and we can locate scenes. So then we can take this first rotary knob, rotate it all the way over to scenes and highlight scenes. And that way when we hit the view button, it'll load up the scenes. And now if we wanted to load the snippets, we would go setup and then snippets view, and then it's loading the, view, the snippets screen. So our scenes portion, I'm sure that you guys have used this before. Basically, you just go and select an open spot and press save. You can title it and then press save again. And that's how you save your entire board. So that's pretty useful for saving all of your different types of services and events that are happening. Now snippets allow you to specify what parameters are being saved and what channels those are being saved from. So if we were wanting to mute channels one through eight, basically we would select our parameter of mute. And so we can use our 
third rotary knob and go select mute here. And then we would select channels one through eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Once we have those selected, make sure you take the save snippet knob and rotate to where you want to save it to. You can press save and we're just kind of titled this M for mute. So then that's saved. If I was wanting to pull this up, we would just press go and then it would mute all of those channels right there, which are already muted. So let's go ahead and unmute those. And we're gonna load our mute, go. Yes, it just muted channels one through eight. So when I'm using snippets, I'm wanting to record my fader positions for my song. This is where I'm really using snippets for, is I'm saving all of my fader positions for that specific song, and also my effects racks one through four. Now, why one through four? Well, those are my time-based effects, like my tap, delay, or my reverb, and all of those things are tempo-based, and tempo usually changes the songs. Also, the different types of instruments that you're wanting to turn up at the beginning of songs changes by the song. So on one song, you might wanna have the drums leading, and so in that case, I would go ahead and have the drums leading that, and I would save that snippet for that specific song. Then the next song, maybe it's a little slower and I have a whole lot of keys and a bunch of bass guitar that I'm wanting to add in, I would go ahead and mix that and then save that as a snippet. And that way on Sunday morning when I'm going between songs, I can actually just load the snippet for that specific song. Now Drew, why wouldn't you want to just use a scene for that? Wouldn't that be easier? Well, kind of, but the benefit of using a snippet over a scene is that a snippet, you can specify what parameters are gonna be overwritten. Where a scene, it overwrites everything. So if I had my snare drum mic all of a sudden move and then it was really bassy and I go and fix that in my EQ section, if I was to load a different scene all of the EQ that I just did on that snare drum would be overwritten. Whereas if I was using a snippet for loading my fader positions, it wouldn't overwrite the EQ because I didn't specify it to overwrite that or even save that in the snippet. So that way when I'm doing things on the fly in the EQ section or in specific parts of the board with the dynamics or gate, those wouldn't be overwritten. So snippets, are for songs, in my opinion, and scenes are for what's actually going on on that day. So that's kind of how I use those two different things. Now let's go really quickly and check out the, the cues portion of this board. So let's go ahead and tab over here. We are going to just make a bunch of cues here. We're just gonna make six different ones here. Now to make a cue, basically we would just press add cue and then we can load the scene and the snippet from these two knobs. So let's go ahead and go up to scene one sorry, Q1, and we're going to select, and we can actually view all of our different scenes here. We're gonna load pink test one, and then on the next Q, we are going to mute all of them. And then on the next Q, we are going to take all the faders to negative 10 on the board. And then on the next one, we are going to unmute all. And then on the next one, we are going to mute them all again. And then the very last one on number six, we are going to load pink test one and mute at the same time. So we'll do that. All right, so now we're just gonna go to the top and press load and then yes. And now we can hear that I have pink noise coming through. Now I have pink noise being generated from the board going through channel eight and channel nine here. One is turned up, one is muted. And so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to our next queue, which is muting all of them. So we're gonna load that and we can see that now all my channels one through 16 are muted. And then the next one we're going to load and all my faders now went to negative 10 and we're gonna now unmute them all. And then we're gonna mute them all again. Now, you can get how that kind of works. Now, one thing to note here is that when we are loading a scene and a snippet at the same time, there is a slight delay between the two. So the X32 basically loads the scene first and then applies the snippet. Now, it does take a little bit of time for the board to actually load every single parameter of that 2000 line file. So if we are to load my pink test one and a mute all at the same time, there's actually gonna be like a 60 to 70 millisecond delay between this pink test one loading and it actually muting. So let's check that out real quick. 
So you heard a little bit of a blip sound there. So that is basically the time delay between it writing every single parameter across the entire board and then writing over the mute portion of the board. So depending on how big your snippet is and how many different lines of code are actually being loaded, it may take a little bit longer to load that second portion. But just keep in mind that if you're going to be loading a scene and a snippet at the same time, there is going to be a slight variation of the sound that's going to be coming out of your board. So if you have one channel that is going to be really loud and you mute it in that same thing, you will hear it. Just FYI. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post below. Make sure you check out my blog post on this at dbbaudio.com as I have a whole lot of information, more than the, just this video, on the cues, sneeze, scenes, and snippets. And thank you very much for watching this video. It's been a lot of S's.